Hello. Welcome back to the stream, guys. Welcome back. Good to see you here. Okay, so last off, we were just starting to finish off Solitude, which is cool. I don't know exactly how much of. Oh. Hang on, my mic is. A oh, thanks for the follow, my guy. Welcome to the stream. Taste, 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 taste. There we go. Anyway, um, I know. It's exciting, isn't it? It's like, you've never seen it before. Like, oh my god. I'm not actually a communist, by the way. I don't, I don't like communism. It's just a, it's a funny nickname. That's all it is. Well, it's a funny name I gave myself. Oh my gosh. I, oh, you, you, you should have told me you were coming. I would have got streamers and everything. Damn it. Okay, seriously, I need to go through my streaming setup. Because I'm not sure if you heard that, but apparently it still thinks that I use, um, like, Streamlabs and Stream Elements at the same time, so I get the alert twice, which is cool because you coming here is so nice, I just got alerted twice, but, you know, at the same time, it's kind of irrelevant. Oh, shit, fuck off. Wait, why am I using this bowl? Bowl, bowl, bow, 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 bow. Eat my arrows. Aha. Okay, seriously, what is this place? Okay. Don't need you. I do need you. Yeah, I don't like the double notification. I've, I have a fair idea what's causing it, but... It's going to require a bit of digging into exactly how I set it up. Because I'm not sure if you've been in my channel for a while, but when I first started out, I did actually use um, Streamlabs for a little bit. Then when I got into making my own overlay, I was like, huh, this is a lot easier to set up in Stream Elements. So I just used that instead. The problem is, for whatever reason, in recent months... Like, that double notification has been happening, and I don't know why. Because I'm only using the one overlay. Yes, it, it just annoys me, because I may not be the best at streaming, but I do try to do things to a certain standard, and when things happen that shouldn't be happening, it just irks that engineer side of my brain, and I'm like, do I dump the stream? Do I just pick and fix it now? I don't know. I don't know. But how's your day gone, my guy? How's it going? Oof. Wait, are you a streamer as well? Let's fucking go. Is it? Oh my gosh! It's Mike! It's Mike the Liar! Yes, mate! Mike the Liar, let's go! Don't just bother with target practice. One learns best by hitting real people. Something strange happened to Kajik when they arrive in Skyrim. Maik has heard the people of Skyrim are better looking than the ones in Cyrodiil. He has no opinion on the matter. All people are beautiful to him. Maik is tired now. Go bother somebody else. What's on the schedule for today or tonight, or you got some interesting plans going on? But I need to. I need to seize your soul for the means of production. Ow. Today's your birthday. Let's go. Happy birthday, my guy. You should, like, go to Applebee's or some shit. Or go to Chili's and just get, like, 
the chicken drunk within a respectable level. Yeah. <laughs> but happy birthday. If no one's wished it to you already, um, it's great that you've made it around the world this many times. Gosh, I hope you have something special planned for today. I don't do anything for my birthdays because I'm just like that, but... Let's go! Okay, so I need you. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, there it is. Watch Torture Day, let's go! Do you have like the day off work or something? Or... God, next time I have my birthday, I'm just going to take the day off work. That I forgot to do it this year, but next year for sure. Because I work myself way too hard. Hey, over here. Please help me get out of this cage. I don't know why those things locked me up, and I don't want to wait around to find out. Okay. One of those things has the key to this cage. If you get me out of here, I'll help you. More than the rest of those crows. I'm glad they didn't find my lucky dagger. It's time to gut these rotten birds. Lead the way. Okay. This. Oh, fuck. God damn. Oh, uh, dude. Honestly, waiting for job applications, especially nowadays, is the fucking worst. Especially when it's a job you really, really want. Do you think you got a chance? Field have you applied for, if you don't mind my asking? A noose. cashier is it a cashier at walmart please tell me it's walmart that would be actually i hope it's not walmart like is it walmart oh god now i'm worried if it's walmart Ugh. oh dear uh Honestly, I don't know if that's good. Because, see, I'm in New Zealand, right? And New Zealand's right at the bottom of the world. And unfortunately, we really only see the bad things. Because I'm sure there's a lot of good to come out of. Yeah, because see, the thing is, I'm sure there's a lot of good to come out of Walmart. There has to be. But unfortunately, at the bottom of the world, we only see, like, 100% of the stuff I've heard about Walmart is like the worst most heinous possible shit which is probably a shame to all the quote unquote good walmarts but yeah just one thing i'd recommend is like are you going to join a union because if not i highly recommend you actually uh walmart yeah is your walmart unionized or do you not know Because, like, not even joking, if your Walmart has a union, I don't care what the application... Do join it. I don't care what the um, annual fee is. The last thing you want to do is get run over by a big company, especially when it's a Walmart. 
Because ju just just speaking from personal experience, when you're with a big name company like that, that is not a position you want to put yourself in. Just don't don't do that. Because it m you might be able to bear it for a little bit, those shit conditions, but unions, they help you out. They just get a bad rap. Yeah. That's actually one thing that disappoints me nowadays is... Like, people don't seem to realize unions do a lot more good. There's a very... Um, I, I'm not sure if you remember this. I'm not sure if this might be a bit before your time, but there was a story about a... Um, there was a story about a bunch of seamstresses who worked in a shop, right? It was a warehouse. It was great. And it was back in the day when... Um, it was wild wild west in terms of what is and what is not an acceptable way to run a business right what the owners like to do is they liked to lock lock the doors and only let people out um when their working day was done and they didn't see anything wrong with that until there was you know a very horrific fire um and unfortunately everyone inside that building either pretty much died which is not cool which is why it's now um mandated that all fire exits can't be locked they have to remain um open at all times or if they can't well you have to be able to open them from the inside and you can't just chain people in like that like that's not cool and then there's other things like the reason breaks are now a thing is because unions organized and figured out that hey if you work people for hours on end and don't give them breaks like that's not good so they lobbied like hell and now people get meal breaks so yeah but again a union may not be for you maybe you need that extra bit of dollars per week i just Yeah, it was it was it was not a very good thing, but fortunately because unions Unions and lobbying fixed that issue. Yeah. God damn. Okay. Okay. Well, it wouldn't be a very dumb thing because you would still be correct because fire does exist. It is definitely a thing. Come on. Come on. Eh. This is Twitch. Accuracy really isn't a thing here. <laughs> God damn. But shit. I know. But honestly, I think that's really great that you're that you've applied for a job that you're pretty much certain you'll get. But yeah, just don't. Oh, dude. Dude, you have no idea how weird Twitch is. You have no idea how VTubing in general is. Like, I've been posting shorts and stuff to, um... Fuck, fuck off, you bastard crap. Like, I've been posting shorts to YouTube more recently, right? And I haven't really had a sp specific, you know way I've done it 
I've just, okay, here's something that I was going to post to TikTok. I'm now going to post it to YouTube and see how it does. And I've been doing that for like a couple weeks, for like a week now. And then there was this one video, I think I posted it last night. Or last night, my time. And I think within 12 hours, it got like 1.6k views and 36 likes. Which for me is unheard of, but that's with me changing nothing about tags or anything. It's just, oh, here's something I was going to post to... Um... Sorry, brain's not working. Here's something that I was going to post to TikTok. Let's put it on YouTube. And it did really well as a short. And I, to this day, I still have no idea why. <laughs> like, it doesn't make sense to me. It shouldn't have done as well as it did, yet it did. Don't, please don't say that on Twitch. <laughs> Like, I understand what you're saying, but with what's going off in Ukraine, my concern is the mods will see that and go, Oi, what the fuck's going on? Ukraine's, Russia's thinking about dropping bombs, then Mr. Communist blowing up. Well, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> because the last thing I want to do is to anger the Twitch mods, because they, they, um, they don't exactly listen to reason at all. We need to... Yeah, here's the thing, though. Moderators, when you give them a bit of power, sometimes really don't care about context. Like, it's just another barrier to them swinging the banhammer, so to speak. Yeah. Which is another reason why I'm shit scared of Discord mods. Because mods in general, I'm a little bit wary of. But Discord mods specifically, it's like... Uh, I don't know. I don't know about that one. But yeah. I'm just thankful I'm not at a... Hmm? Yeah. Like, I'm quite fortunate that the few mods... That the vast majority of the mods that I've come across... Um, they've been pretty good well, as far as Discord goes. The only problem is... There are, you know, those people that are very much... These are the rules. You must follow them if you don't ban. But the ones that I hate the most are... Oh, hello. Huh? The ones that I hate the most are... These are my interpretation of the rules. Yes, your context exists. But I am the mod, so my word is law. Those people I don't like. Come. I've, I've actually been quite fortunate. I've not come across any of those particular mods before. God, but that would... S yeah, that's why I'm quite happy that I'm not having to... Um, deal with that bullshit right now. Be thankful that you don't play Dungeons and Dragons. Like, like I love D and D, but yeah, it's just this. Those kind of people are the same people that would really thrive as power. As um, the people that would do Discord kittens are the people that would absolutely froth at the mouth. Um, when it comes to. If they would ever realize how much stuff they could do as a power player in D&D. &D. So be thankful you haven't come across that godforsaken. Ooh, that's actually really good. That's real good. Excuse me while I dump my POS bow. Yeah. Alright. 
I mean, for all the shit I give d and I've actually had a lot of fun doing it. It's great. I love it. But it's definitely not for everyone. I'll say that. Speaking of obscure 90s references, um, are you at all a fan of Star Wars? Dot, dot, dot. Nothing wrong with being a furry. Everyone likes what they like, so long as they do it legally, that's okay. But also so long as they're aware that that shit might gross people out, and they just have to realize that you know some people just don't vibe with certain shit and that's okay we just have to respect each other's differences god why did i go to yeah a lot of people really aren't happy with star wars at the moment but yeah i I actually haven't seen a lot of the new Star Wars stuff, because I think, um... Because I remember seeing episodes 3 through 6 when they were on VHS, and those were the shit. And then I remembered seeing, like, the prequels, and those were eh. But Rise of the Skywalker is sort of what made me realize that... Um... It's sort of what made me... Yeah, so I did watch Rise of the Skywalker, and it's sort of what made me realize that... I mean, I already knew. I already knew, but it just cemented the understanding that all that Disney really cares about is... Um, making money, which, yeah, but then they applied that methodology to, like, Star Wars and ruined a beloved franchise. And I just don't fuck with that. Yeah. I have to admit that plot twist isn't really something that I say because like Ray was the oh, god I think it, it was like a bullshit plot twist but like Ray was actually um a Palpatine all along and I was like well that sort of ruined my immersion like, god damn Die. But yeah. Once one one thing I do want to see is I would very much like to see the um Mandalorian series and the solo movie. Oh yeah. Honestly, Mandal I think Mandalorian was like a massive dub for the series. I, I think if it wasn't for the Mandalorian doing what it did to the um, fandom, oof, um, we wouldn't Star Wars as a yeah, yeah. That's that's a fair cop, but take Grogu out of it, and it's still a very solid series. Like if it wasn't for the fact that it was exclusive to Disney Plus, I'd actually start watching it, but. You know, because I don't want to give Disney any more money than I absolutely have to. Yep. On, dude, cat on PC, we were just talking about how we more or less agree that episode 6 was a fucking letdown. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, I haven't seen Book of Boba Fett, but it kind of seemed... My, my, I haven't seen Boba Fett, but my understanding of it is very much, it's, I mean, the entirety of Star Wars, whether you want to agree with this statement or not, is everything after, 
um, the original trilogy is more or less fan fiction, but it's almost like Boba Fett leaned into it in a really bad way. Yeah. I mean, it... Oh no, I meant episode 7, fuck. Why'd I say episode 6? God, episode 6 was great. Sorry, I haven't fucked with Star Wars ever since Disney ruined it for me, so... Uh, a couple of my nut- my exact- Because <laughs> even back in the 90s, that shit was a fucking trip. Because it was like, oh, this episode- no, Okay. What the hell's going on? Uh, there is something I need to do here. But yeah. No, here's the thing. What episode 7 was trying to do, it did. It definitely, but it definitely could have done it better. As. Does it. I, I think it just. Yeah, I haven't seen 8 and 9, and I don't think I ever will. Okay, seriously, what- how do I get behind this door? Oh, is that Disney? Yeah. Y well, here- here's a- th Here's what a lot of people don't realize. Disney, for the longest time, back when they were doing um, a lot of their movies using cell animation, they actually c cared about the stories that they were telling. And you could tell with how their characters move and how their stories were made. Yeah, but where they went downhill is when Walt Disney opened his first theme park and you know he did it really legitly well legit being sub subjective as far as Disney goes he did it really legitly and then he let it run and what him and his business partners realized is yes his movies made money but he he actually made more money off of how the off of the ticket sales and Sorry, my brain's just lagging at the moment. He made more money off ticket sales and merchandise in the park itself than he ever did with individual ticket sales to the movies. And slowly over time, um, Disney's business model changed to let's um, sell stories, to let's you know, use those stories to get as much money from people as possible. Which is why they've spent literal thousands to acquire like, you know, radio stations, land, title, um, titles such as Star Wars. And they will continue to do so because that they know, they know they're not making the greatest stories in the world, but that's not what they're doing. They're doing it because of, um, a process called whaling, which is where, yeah, which is where they, no, they get these franchises that are loved by a shitload of people, but they're not going after, um, Joe Average. Um, who just goes to see a movie every now and then, they're going after the diehard fans, the people that go to the theme parks, the people that buy all the merchandise, the people who will literally go through hell and high water to get that one Star Wars Christmas special on VHS just to have it as part of their collection. That's why they turn these movies out like you wouldn't believe, because the more they do that, the more merchandise they can sell, the more they can capitalize on those people's money. Which is why quite steeply over time, their storytelling abilities have just gone to shit. Congratulations, you now know how Disney runs their business. And it is horrible. Hello. Oh yeah. Oh, one, one thing I've been meaning to do that I haven't, is I haven't seen the new Avatar movie. I've been meaning to... It's just, I've heard from people who have watched it that it is a good movie, but it is a massive, like, like, it is, it's not something that, 
and they made money. Yeah. One thing I've noticed is Star as Disney as a whole is corrupt as um creatively bankrupt. Like, have you noticed that they're actually re-releasing um a lot of their old movies? Like, what the hell, man? Well, hold on, hold on. Let's not be so quick to um. Let's not be so quick to shit on the writers, because the writers are producing material that may not be great, but is that because of their abilities, or is that because of what management's telling them to do? It's like China, for example. China has a lot of talented engineers, but, you know, they're more or less mandated by the state to produce something to X quality. And I think a little bit of that's happening at Disney at the moment, so... Hmm. Why did I bring China into this? Jesus. Now I feel dirty. And not in the good way. Ugh. Sometimes it's not old heads, sometimes it's new heads as well. I mean, let's not forget, um... Another way, another great way to think about it is, like, McDonald's, for example. Like, the original McDonald's restaurant was, um owned by two brothers who were really really good at making hamburgers and stuff like that and they had a like a really they were the first people to yeah they were one of the first people to actually streamline fast food restaurants in the way that they did but you know unfortunately um new talent came along and it wasn't until like a very young individual brought up the idea of franchising that the um, quality of the restaurant as a whole just started to fucking nosedive because why focus on one restaurant when we can just, you know, like, step back and give a generic template to everyone else, own the property that they sell on, and then just make money as opposed to making quality. Which is why if I ever went to America, which I hope I do one day, Let's never say never. If I ever went to America and I wanted barbecue, I'd never buy it from a chain restaurant. I'd always just go out to some back country and buy it from some guy who looks like he has one foot in the grave but has like a billowing smoker out the back. Like, that's where the good shit is. Ring ding. Back off, I'm streaming. Yeah, local is always better. Also, I forgot where I'm going, shit. Uh, no, I'm going in the right way. Okay, so I need to go... This way? No. Don't be dumb. Go this way. Legit, though, you guys have the biggest fights about... America has the biggest fights about barbecue. Have you ever seen that shit? Like, people get lethal. So, so fast. Uh-oh. It's cone. Honestly, that, one of the thing. oh, wait, what? Oh, god damn it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I like as much high quality homemade burger. First fear is all, the second fear is none. All abound. <laughs> the 
first fears all. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, McDonald's, like, McDonald's is food quality over time. It has started to get up, but holy shit, their prices, though. Yeah. Honestly, when, when I get off shift late and I just can't cook anything at home, like, McDonald's is just, mm. Okay. Okay. The first fears all... Okay, where is it? Um, uh, the first fears all, the second fears none, the third eats what it can, preferably. First fears all. Second. Okay, what is the dollar menu? Because I think that's something specific to America. We don't have that here. Oh, yep, yep, I got it, I got it. Let's go. See, I'm not dumb. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Also, um, can, can one of you guys explain to me what the, like, what the hell White Castle is all about? Because I've only ever, as far as White Castle goes, the only stuff I know about White Castle is from what I saw about that one movie where I think it was something in Kumar go to White Castle and they order, like, a shitload of sliders. Like, what are they like? Is White Castle any good, or is it, like, average? Oh. Hello. Because, like, you know, things like White Castle or Whataburger or Five Guys or Chili's, I really don't know anything about other than what I've heard in memes, which is not a lot. Okay, what is a slider, though? Like, as far as I'm aware, that's just like a... Um... Mini hamburger. Okay. Red herring, that's nice. That sounds incredibly basic. Is it cheap or? That sounds like the kind of shit you'd buy a lot of as, but like as a hangover cure, if I'm perfectly honest. Ow, bastard. Honestly, I'm shit at buying hangover cures. I, like, funny story, I got, um, I woke up hungover as shit, which usually doesn't happen, and then I just wandered into a, um, I just wandered into, like, a subway and said, I'm hungover as shit, do you guys have anything that can cure a hangover? And they said, oh, no, we don't, but maybe if you get something with protein. So I think I got, like, a 12-inch chicken sub with, like, egg on it, and... That shit just filled my soul, man. I mean, it was weird, and I don't think I'd ever eat it again, because that is a heavy meal. But... <laughs> yeah, man, it definitely cured my hangover, I'll tell you what. Especially with hot sauce, just like, mmm. Very nice. Oh, fuck. Bastard. Dude, you don't understand. 
Uh, one thing we don't have in New Zealand that I've always wanted to try is a legit... Is a le 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 Why are words failing me at the moment? Jesus Christ, I'm usually not this bad. Well, there are a couple of things that I've wanted to try. I've always wanted to try... Like a palm hero, like a legit palm hero. A um, Philly cheesesteak and a chopped cheese, which is like a... It's a special type of sandwich, low, um, like a budget sandwich you can get from a, um, 7-Eleven type store in America. But it's only sold in one place, and I've always wanted to try it. Even though I could probably make it at home. God's sake, but yeah. It's just like, America, like... America doesn't give a... I can... Holy shit. Six times damage. Jesus. Why have I not been doing this before? Jesus Christ. Goddamn. America is pretty wild when it comes to their fast food. Like... Here in New Zealand, we'll deep we'll deep fry some stuff. Like we'll deep fry fish, chips, chocolate bars, stuff like that. But never have I ever seen a country at the at like a fair, like the state fair. Never have I ever seen a country deep fry an entire stick of butter and eat it. Like like that shit just breaks my mind. My guy, like Jesus. Wait, how do you even come up with that? I understand you guys want to eat food and you want to eat it deep fried, but a stick of butter? I mean, really? Like. God damn. Okay, what's up here? Do, 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 do. Oh, this is one big ass dungeon. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> Why are you heartbroken? What happened? You messed up. Oh, dude, that sucks. I remember back when I had a slinky and I... Because I, I didn't have one of those plastic slinkies. I had a, like a metal slinky and when I kinked it, the kink never came out. And I was just like sad as shit, man. Like that was just like the worst feeling. Seriously, where am I going? No idea. Slink but legit slinkies are so cool. God damn. thing I've always wanted to do though is there's a street in New Zealand which officially and unofficially is the steepest street in the world and I just want to run a slinky down it just to see what would happen and put it on put that shit on YouTube <laughs> like I think someone's already done it but you know oh oh you dick Am I fucking trapped here now? God. God fucking. Hang 
on. Ugh, fucking, where is it? Uh, uh, because... Uh, Elemental Fury... No, oh, what the shit. Really? Fuck. Um. Well. Just, you know. Can't avoid it. I don't like doing that on stream, but I kind of got glitched behind a couple of those things, so. Yeah. If Twitch wants to get mad about me using turning collision off for like a hot second, then let them get mad. I honestly don't care. <laughs> so I have more important things to worry about, like you guys, and streaming, and getting shit out on the TikToks. Ooh. Die already, Jesus. Oof. Okay, potions. I need to save those potions for later. Where am I? Oh, wow. Okay, so I need to go this way. Well, usually there's a chest around here somewhere. No, no chest? Okay. That makes me sad. Okay, let's go this way. God damn. I should... Oh, fuck. No. Nope. Oh. That was a bit deceptive. All right. Hello. Ate my sword. Oof. Okay. Oh. Okay. Do I have? Ba, 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 ba. Oh, for those, if you're wondering why I'm just randomly going after caves, um, I played Skyrim a lot. Like, I think the first time I played Skyrim was back when I had a P PS3, and that's like, what now? That was two generations of that console ago, maybe more. Um, first time I played it, and then I got it again for PS3, and I've been playing this game so often that just playing the game normally doesn't spark joy for me anymore, so this playthrough... I thought since I needed content for um, Twitch and TikTok and what have you, I'm just doing the dumbest shit possible. Like, I'm avoiding the storyline. I haven't even gone to see the Greybeards yet. And I'm just going anti-clockwise around the map, just doing the dumbest shit, avoiding the storyline, going into all the caves, doing all the things, yeah. and then just having a grand old time. Yeah. Ow. That wasn't very nice. What the fuck did I do to you? Well, I should say so. Jesus, you just sparked me out of nowhere. Probably doesn't help that I haven't leveled my health at all. But, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see if we can get this guy. Don't pay attention to me. I don't exist. Just breathe in. 
There we go. That wasn't so bad. All right, let's go. Very, very useful thing to have that. Uh, okay, is there anything we can disenchant real quick? Uh, nope. Wait. Apparel. Oh. Oh, good. I don't want to disenchant that. Those are very useful items to have that are also very difficult to get. You, I have you. Uh, take small antlers. Yep, 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 yep. Nope. I uh, see. I'll grab you, you and you, and that should be about it. Onwards. Mm hmm. Goddamn, Nightshade is the most annoying thing in the world to locate at the moment. Like, I have no idea where to find it. Do, 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 do. God, I remember one of the first things that annoyed me when I was didn't know much about Skyrim was those fucking giants. I just walked up to them like, that's a lot of XP, I'll take that. And then they're like, haha, take this. And it's fucking yeeted me into the stratosphere. And then I felt like an absolute dummy. Is there anything in my immediate area? Nope. in this immediate area because I don't know where everything is I'm just low-key trying to find shit and loot shit may not be the best plan but you know what it's my plan and I'm gonna stick with it Help. Hmm? I've been hunting and fishing in these parts for years it's not like my poaching is hurting anymore Y'all can hardly eat every deer now, can you? See if you needed help. Fine, be a bitch, Jesus. Somebody help. Oh. That was is that what that was about? That's just a bear, that's nothing. God damn. Hello. Oh, you know what? Good for you. Well done. Do you want a cookie? Well, too bad. I don't have any. And also, I don't care. And also, I never wanted to offer you a cookie. Psych! Okay, I'm going to go here. No, I picked an excellent time to get lost. You picked a very terrible wait time to die because I'm bored in your experience points. Wherever you are, I will find you. Ooh, Robber's Cove. Can't say I've ever been there before. Let's kill these guys and see what's good. Missed it by that much. There we go. All right.
All right. What's good? What's happening in Robber's Cove? Nope, wrong way. Okay, we need... Nope, we need... Nope, we need... There we go. Really? That's it? That's all you got for me. Weak. Let's go this way. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that was a letdown of a dungeon if I ever saw one. Jesus. That was like a couple minutes in and out. What a waste of time that was. Barely even worth the experience points, but you know what? It is an area on the map ticked off, and I'm I'm pleased about that, at least. Positive thoughts, positive thoughts. Hey look, it's Haruka. <laughs> okay, don't go down the river, don't go down the river. Fuck! Well, that's just my luck, isn't it? I'm gonna go across the river, it's gonna be fine. No, 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 Nope. Unfortunately, physics says no. God damn, I need a shitload of soul gems. Good thing I've been stockpiling them. For the most part. Apart from the hundred or so I sold because I didn't know what they were worth. I'm good at Skyrim, can you tell? Because <laughs> I can't. <laughs> what the hell? Oh. Nope, that wasn't an entrance to a cave. That was an entrance to a mistake. The blue and yellow purple hills. Okay. I need to go further upstream. What? Whoop. Eat shit. Haha, I did it. It was the rocks the whole owl. That wasn't very nice. I think there might be cannibals in here. Possibly cannibals. Nope, just dickheads. How 
much cash do you have? Just ten. Weak. I think they might have found me. No matter. No. No one is here. And you're all dead, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> he shit on. God damn. Alright. Uh... Okay. Oh, I love the fact that arrows don't weigh anything. If I did, I'd be fucked. Like, even though I only had, like... Even if they only had 0 0.2 weight, I have a shitload of arrows. Like, um, like I have 306 dwarven arrows, 50 ebony arrows, 94 elven arrows. I'm saving these for a special occasion because Jesus Christ. But yeah, I have I have quite a bit. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna run out of arrows anytime soon. I'll tell you that. Great thing about being good at some. Everything thing about being good at bows is you never have to worry about ammunition because you can just take the enemies before they give it to you forcibly in the neck god damn god but yeah bows are cool bows are the best thing ever because it's like I think I mentioned this on a stream but I just can't i just love to be a fly on the wall when people were thinking of the bow, like, as a weapon, because, like, at some point in time, and I've said this before, but at some point in time, someone had to have come up with that thought, thought. And it's an interesting thought, because conflict, as we know it, is an escalation of two words. Fuck you. That's it. That's what all conflict boils down to. It's an escalation of, fuck you... It's an escalation of people not liking each other and trying to unalive everyone as bad quickly as possible. Come back here. I wish to stab you. So imagine how pissed off someone would have to be if they wanted to, like... Ah, you can live. Because, yeah, and... Because it's an escalation of fuck you, there's always been an escalation of weapons because the more angry you are, the more deader you want to make someone. So you think of new and interesting ways to do that. And like, well, how, how would that conversation has gone? Because it must have been someone wanting to stab someone, but like from like super, super far away. And then through like a series of like, you know, drunken conversations, they just thought, well, let's just throw knives at people. And that was that. That's how the bow came about. God. Yeah, god damn. Some weapons in general are pretty wild. Especially, God, what's, what's another weapon that... I'm trying to think about the game. Oh yeah, shit, the Galten Avenger. So, Galten Avenger, one of my favorite, one of the most interesting guns in the world. Not my favorite, but it's a very good example of how America will literally modify any piece of weaponry they come across to kill the enemy deader. And what they did with the Gal 10 is that they just looked at the gun, saw it shot bullets the size of Red Bull cans, and thought, you know, this would be really cool if we gave it, like, you know, if we 
we can make it fly. So they just made a plane its aftermarket accessory and ran with it. And that shit's been going for a while. I mean, Jesus. I mean, credit with credit, Stu, that plane has been around for literal decades at this point, but my goodness, is it dated. I, I still love it, though. It's an angry, grunting anti-tank plane that's not an anti-tank plane, but it's still... still okay. But yeah, I, I don't... I don't understand why people are still using it. It doesn't make any sense to me. Like, at all. But, eh. If it makes the soldiers happy... Because, the, I think soldiers right now, especially with what's going on over in Ukraine, they just need a massive dub. And... Of having an anti-tank plane that's not an anti-tank plane just in your arsenal and having it where they scare the enemy with it uh, is what helps your soldiers then you know what i think that that's it doing its job in some way come on die already You know what? Fuck off. I, I can't be bothered with that wolf anymore. I have other things to do. Where am I even? Oh wow, I am well off the beaten track. That's a shame what happened to this guy. Eh. Sounds like a him problem, to be perfectly honest. Oh, look, another place to explore. Let's go! I'm so close to knocking this region on the head as well. God damn. Like just messing about, not doing messing about, and then. Hmm. Okay, so. What else is, could possibly be in this area, though? Because I think. Okay, so. I need to do a bit of exploring around here, I think, but we'll wait and see. I do think I've gotten most of the exploring done already, so you know what? Dub. Massive dub. Huge dub. Well, kind of. Ah, break wind bluff. <laughs> That's funny because fart jokes. Oh, I think I should have. No, don't do anything. No, no, no. I hate ice magic so much. Like, for some reason, it is just stupidly overpowered in this game. And I don't... I don't understand why. It's not even that... Ooh, Imperial Braces. Get fucked. I hate Imperials. Gah. Do not make me feel the best. Okie dokie. Um, hmm... I don't have anything that I can afford to drop. Hmm. 
Well, that's that gone. So that's the mountain range covered, I believe. Whoa there! I don't know where you're going, but stay out of that mine. It isn't safe. We tunneled into an old Nordic crypt. The whole place is crawling with drop. We're not mining up any ore with those undead around, so I wouldn't go down there if I were you. Fuck the police. Fuck the police. Come straight from the underground. Do what I want. Uh -huh. So I'm an adult. I'm an adult. That means I can do dumb shit and suffer the consequences. I mean, technically anyone can do that, but I get to say, fuck you, I'm doing it anyway. Oh. Okay. Dude. Yeah. Ow. No, this would be a great time to level up my one-handed. I should probably be doing that. That's two-handed. I need this one. Oh, no, it's... Like, you're not even using your class's own weapons. You're straight up switching to like an ebony blade. That is not very Drogo of you. God damn. Have some pride in your history. Jesus. Okay, dokey. We need to. Hello. Come on, come on. Dub, 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 massive dub. Oh -ho. Or anything back here? Okay, crystal of hysteria, steel battle axe, don't want it. I hate two handed weapons. They're a waste of my goddamn time. A lot of damage, but shit DPS. Okay, we, 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 we. Ah. That was weird. Anyway. Anyway. Uh -huh. Don't need that one because it's two handed and two handed is for people who like two handed weapons, which is not me. Oh, hello. God damn. What don't I need out of 
here. Mm, don't need that. I do not need. Mm. Don't need that. Don't I need what don't I need? Nah, I'm gonna get you. I'm getting a lot of kill animations recently, jeez. The hell did I do? Nothing to deserve that, uh, I'll tell you that much. Okie dokie. keeping the mine closed. You did? We were waiting for the Yard to send an entire regiment to clear that mine. Now we can get back to work. Thank you. God might get nervous. If you're nervous by me holding my sword, first of all, giggity. Second, um, actually, I don't know what a second would be, because I was going to say, well, not that much of a threat, but I kill dragons on the regular, so, yeah, I don't know if there's any truth to that. The fuck? Someone's having a good time. Wow, oh, that's a thick book. What's happening up this way is... Okay. This definitely seems like a place. You should head on inside. Aldous or Struli can take care of it. Okay, I will head on inside. Just as soon as I take my shirt off. But I'm sweating like a pony. It was raining where I am, and I need to dry my boots out, and unfortunately, they are soaking wet. You'll be looking to rent Tiber Septim's room, I take it? That's right. In the Second Era, Tiber Septim himself led the army that conquered old Hraldon from the barbarians of the Reach. Septim would later found the empire that united Tamriel, but his first known battle and victory was right here. And this inn has the very bed the great general slept in on his first night as old Hraldon's liberator, as good as it was hundreds of years ago. That doesn't sound very comfortable. Have a good rest. It's the big room with the double bed. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. All right, this is the old Rolden Inn. Watch your tongue, stranger. We don't take back talk in this inn. I don't like where this is going. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Have mercy. There's a ghost just wandering around my inn like it owned the place. Yes, I heard stories that old Haraldin was from the battle. I just know it. He's one of Tiber Septim's soldiers back from the dead. Oh. Until next time. 
Jolty? Is that you? You promised me, Jolty. You promised that when we sacked Boulder, you would make me your sworn brother. And I've waited. Even after the enemy's arrows dug into my chest and their hammers crushed my bones, I've waited. Give me your sword. Wait, no, I need to go back inside here. I have to give him something. Ah, the visitor. Old soul the name has hundreds of years of... Do you think the... Sword? I remember a legend that Tiber Septon had attacked one of the enemy camps before he came to Old Herald, and it could be that... I'll mark it down on your map. Yalti? Hm. I never heard of anyone named Yalti. Tiber Septon had many names. Maybe that's one of them. All right, then. Well, it's a good thing I went spelunking across that way direction. Everyone has the stomach required to entreat, my lord. But Cash likes you, friend. There is a way Periak may speak to us who will take him in. If you wish to commune with him, we'll need the incense. Yes, the incense. Fetch for me a death bell flower, one silver ingot, a flawless ruby, and some vampire. I think I have all those things. Need something? All right then. Nope, wrong way. I need to go this way. I think. Yeah. Nope. Right, but first I need to upload some stuff because... Unfortunately, I'm quite fat at the moment. Okay, so we're back to White Run. Sell some shit, melt some shit. What do you need? You've been a good Sky friend to me. That means something. Legion soldiers Sky. gleam like Mixed fresh imperial bone, snow and clank like a kitchen. If they head this way, we'll know it. <laughs> so what's your story? I don't want some snobby elf telling me what gods I can and can't worship. Jalos guides you. And you. All right, now... Let's see. What do I need? I need a silver ingot and a flawless ruby. A, B, C, D.
Chapter one. Put away my books, 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 books. Some weapons that I'm probably never going to use again. Uh, let's see, you can go there, you can go there, go there, you can go there, you can go there. Apparel, what don't I need from my what drip don't I need right now, people? I don't need this, I don't need that, I don't need that, I definitely don't need that, all this, all that. I always need those gloves. Don't need that. I will need that. Don't care about that. Don't care about that. Right, where was I? Ah, yes. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Hmm? Ah, thank you. Let cash have them. Yes, yes, this will create a fine fume. This is gonna end poorly. Should do. Now, inhale deeply. Breathe deep, mortal. I would have you hear me well. So Oof. let these vapors fill your lungs. In a sense, but no more poison than a fool after too much wine. Okay. I have watched you for some time, you know. The decisions you've made intrigue me. Mm -hmm. And I wonder if you are the proper agent for a task of mine. I don't know about that, buddy. That is a bold assumption. <laughs> Probably too bold, even for someone like you. Like, I'm low-key dumb as shit. And you've been stalking me, and you think I'm your best choice? How are you? I just reevaluate things a little bit, my friend. It sounds like it sounds like you might need to take a step away from whatever it is you're huffing, and I don't know, maybe just reevaluate your life choices. But what do I know? I'm just some guy stabbing people with arrows. I sent a blessing to Mundus. A wasting plague that infected a scattering of Breton villages. One of my monks, the elf Orchendor, was sent to gather these afflicted. He shepherded them into 
Bathardons for me, but has since lost his way. I will not stand for betrayal. I want you to go to Bathardons and kill Orchendo in my name. The pettiness of mortals. I had almost forgotten. I can grant you a powerful token for this task. An escutcheon of Dwemer make, capable of shielding you from both the spell and sword. Eh, I'm not really big on shields, to be honest. Return. When the elf lies dead, and it will be. Dude, yours. I'm tripping balls. I'm seeing ghosts and shit. So you have, mortal. Go now. Kill Orchendor. Orchendor. Ha ha ha. Anyway. Ba, 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 ba. It's run off a cliff. What, what's the worst thing that could happen? Other than death. Ba, 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 ba. Hello. Your mama. No. Do I look like I give a fuck? You are alive, and I want that to not be the case. Okie dokie. Ah, my friend from Sydney Mine. Hello. Glory. Oh. One day. Oh, I fucked up. <laughs> I fucked up bad. <laughs> I thought those were regular false one. No, these are good guys. Oh no. I fucked up super bad. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. My bad. <laughs> oh no, they've and they've made such a good place for themselves here. And they seem like Oh, I just I I feel bad. If I could bury that person outside I would, but it's just I mean, look, they've created all of this. Will be ours again. Oh, it's just... I feel like such a terrible person now. Look at this. Skyrim making me question my moral choices. Jesus. Never thought I'd see the day. Okay, the reach will be yours, I get it. Okay, how far north am I? Ooh, 
Ooh, hello. What is this? Okay. Is... Is that it? Was it literally just a bridge and nothing else? Um... Wow, that was a massive waste of my time. Anyway. Something in the waterfall, maybe? No? Okay. Okay, it's going to be those random sewer creatures, or is it going to be some bandits? Let us find out. Bandits it is. Afflicted? Uh... Uh... What? The hell does that mean? Okay. Something's not right about this place. Yeah, something's definitely not right about this place. They have very sus looking pots just everywhere. You should have gotten good. Uh, alternate theory, how about you prepare to die? Jesus. I need to kill you and to take your XP for my own. Bitch. Seriously, what the fuck is going on here? I'm freaking out. It's like some fucking... It's like a drug party gone wrong. Not that I'd know what that looks like. All that I'm trying to hide, I just... Like I said, I've never actually had drugs before, which is weird, because... Apparently, as a kid, there were heaps of people selling them around where I lived, and I had no idea. Which either means they were quote-unquote ethical, or I was just dumb as shit. <laughs> Yeah, I can. I can, I will, and I shall do it. 
Ah, get shit on. God damn. Fuck yo. Jesus. I definitely think I should have. I think here is exactly where I need to be, my guy. Because I'm here, and you're here, which means I can kill you. This is just like a never-ending stockpile of some weird green drug. Probably, like, I don't know, fantasy weed or something. Respect your surroundings. Out of bitch. Your mama. Oof.
Jesus. Sure, I have. Or have I? How have these guys not triggered these already? Now you're mine. And now you're dead. So that's that taken care of. Eight sword, bitch boy. <laughs> Eight. Oof. Hmm. Getting closer to the mystery. Probably have some healing magic going. Uh, restoration. There we 
go. Smite. I remember when I used to be scared of those guys. Used to. Destruction magic. Anyway, uh, I want restoration, I want fossil. Oh, dragon, I need to kill one of those. No, for science. No weapons. Fight me! Right here, fight me, you degenerate fucking sky rat. God. It's like one second they want to eat my ass, the next second it's like... Oh, I'm gonna go over this way now because I can't be fucked. Like, I don't know. Fine. Be that way, you overgrown sky rat. Guard. That's a huge bitch.
Okay. Now. Go back this way. I need to have a look around here because that's a that's a spicy meatball. We're going to a canal. So we're not going that way. <laughs> okay, where are we gonna go? God, this is a big ass dungeon, indeed. Jesus. <laughs> All right, so I need to... Come back. 
this way. There we go, that looks like... Get fucked. For as much a threat to me as Mexican food is to me. Which is a bit. Because real Mexican food upsetties my spaghetti. There we go. Haha, uh -huh, get shit on. Thank you. God, I love it when the enemies ragdoll. It just makes me feel good in my bones. I don't know why. It is a mystery. Oh, this isn't going to end well. That was easy.
Hmm. Now how the hell do I get out of here? So that, I think, ticks off. Um, enemies? What enemies? for my blessing. It will spread to others through their touch and my own. Another overseer will replace Orchendo when the time comes. For now, all is cleansed and ordered. Embrace order and hard truth, mortal. Goodbye. All right, goodbye, you creepy fuck. You need something? on Okay, I need
this way. Uh -huh. Doggy, oh wow. Two camps, one area, my lucky day. Wait a minute. Oh no. Nah, I'm gonna get closer. If you don't like it, you can suck eggs. I'm warning you. Back off. I'm warning you. Back off. I'm getting out of here. I need potions, I need health, I need healing, and I need it now. Not that much healing. Yeah. The spicy. I'm not supposed to be here yet. Yeah, this is later. It's not there. Turns I have to climb up the mountainside. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, I need mask. I need A B C D Emerald Dragon Claw. So it's Snake Whale Bear. Neat. Dragon Bird Bird. That's weird. Oh, I remember this. That's what all those pieces were for. That's you done now. What's this third guy gonna do? That was hardly worth it.
I've been waiting for it's been an honor. Remember our lessons from the sword masters of our care. Let me show you a few things you may have forgotten before we leave Volia. All of a sudden, the ghost disappeared. What happened? Here, take a look at this. Some of the Yarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Until next time. Hey, who the hell is texting me at this late at night? Hello? Hello? Hmm. Up, up, dip, up, fuck. Here we go. To see excellent you've done us a great service here is your reward the stone structure the dwarves have left makes us invincible oh well things are going well a good friend to me that means something they'll never god might get nervous i'm the yarl good i prefer using water to cool my metal but it's what the yarl wants here some of my best armor. Wear it well. Until next time. Okay, dokey. Oh. Let's check. Well, I do believe we are going to call it there. Uh, thank you all for joining in for the stream. I uh, do appreciate a lot of new people coming in. Um, Sorry, brain's just firing on not all cylinders at the moment. So, yes, I want to quit this up. So, uh, that's going to be us for today. I'm not going to be streaming again until Wednesday, my time, maybe. It just depends how this week goes because it's supposed to be a rainy week and work is taxing for its own reasons. That being said, we are going to call it there for today. 
Um, I do believe I clocked all but one area that I need to cover in Markarth, but you know, we'll get there. We will. I've been making pretty steady progress. And I should only have, after Markarth, I believe, two regions to tick off. And once that's done, we'll be able to get on with the storyline. So, I'm actually ahead of schedule by a ways, which is cool. Anyway, uh, thank you for joining in. Uh, my name is Communist Pop Tart. I am a streamer from New Zealand. I play the video games and upload the content to TikTok that gets random amounts of views with absolutely no skull. Uh, but if you want to keep up to date with all the shenanigans, you can contact, you can type in exclamation point links into the chat at any time. I'm available on Twitter, TikTok, Discord, YouTube, and right here at home on Twitch. And yeah, that's going to be it for me. Thank you all for joining in. And until we see each other again, goodbye for now.